Hello my friend, and welcome to Mika Vetching, where I'll be talking about things I like, things I don't like, and possible ways of improving upon them. Now remember, these are strictly my opinions, and I'm an idiot, so take everything I say with a grain of salt. Today, I'm going to be kvetching about Mark of the Ninja by Clay Entertainment. Buy it. No, seriously, buy it. Stop listening to me, go on Xbox Marketplace or Steam, and purchase it. You owe it to yourself, and you owe it to the amazing guys at Clay Entertainment. Honestly, this game is possibly one of the best stealth action games that I've played in a very long period of time. It makes you feel like a ninja in every possible way, much like Tenchu Stealth Assassins did back when it was actually good and relevant. The things I really love about this game, first and foremost, as you can see right now, is the animation and the art quality in this game is positively astounding. The, the cartoony look to it goes so well, the animation is so fluid, from the kill animations to the traversal, the traversal methods using the grappling point and climbing around, everything flows so well from one to another that I absolutely, that it's just, it fits the game. Perfectly. I mean, there are a few glitches now and then that you're probably not going to get to see, but for the most part, everything from looks asset is great. I like the sound of this game, from the kills to the little effects that happen, as well as... Well, we're talking about sound, actually. A lot of this game is represented... The sound is represented by audible bubbles that emanate from the source. Whenever you kill a guy... You get to see how much noise he makes, though that only happens if you don't do a stealth kill. The Every time you run, or take a very long jump, or grapple, or break a light, anything that happens, you can tell exactly what is going to happen as soon as you, right before you do, by the audible bubble that you get to see, especially if you pause the game with your focus button, usually left control if you use the mouse and keyboard, and it will tell you just how the sound is going to project. And not only does that, it does the sound tie into the game mechanics themselves, it provides a very interesting effect, because when enemies move, you see where they are by the little audible bubbles of their footsteps. So you're never completely unaware of where the enemy actually is. It adds a very interesting dynamic to this game. And while we're actually talking about the, the gameplay mechanics, the main point of this game is you get a mark on your main character, the ninja, I don't think he ever gets actually named, that lets you basically pause time to not only throw multiple objects at once or to queue up multiple actions such as throw a dart, throw a distraction, and grapple onto a point all at once, but along with the gameplay mechanics is the light mechanic, which when you are in complete darkness no enemy can see you even if they're staring directly at you, but the moment you step out into the light, not only do your colors of your ninja show, such as I'm wearing a special uniform, it's completely black when I'm not in the light, but once I step in the light, any enemy that is looking in that direction will automatically see me. So you always know when or when you or the enemy are not easily detectable by the fact that when you're in darkness, you're completely, you're masked in black, but when you're in the light, you can see all the colors. It adds, it, it lets you know, quite obviously, when it is safe to either run about and stab a guy or not. And while we're talking about stabbing guys, actually, I'm going to talk about the upgrading system in this game, because actually the upgrades and the items, because the items are actually really good. They come in two forms, distraction and attack. Distraction is obviously used to get an enemy out of your way, so you can sneak past them, and attack lets you either disable or kill them outright. My personal favorite is the attack items, just because I like being the type of ninja that runs up and kills people, which also ties into the upgrade system, actually. Now, the upgrade system is done in a point scale. Everything you do in this game provides you with points. When you, ki when you kill a guy, depending how you kill the guy and what you do with the body afterwards, all grants you points. Or if you get through an entire level without killing a single person or sounding an alarm, you get a massive score bonus. And that is actually very interesting as it ties into the upgrade system. Depending how well you do in the stage, uh, there are a total of nine seals that you can earn per, per stage. 
Three are score based, three are challenge based, and three are collectible based. As every stage has three scrolls that you have to find, and which tell the story in haiku form of your clan and of what you are currently doing. It adds a very interesting story element to this game that I thoroughly enjoyed. Uh, the first three I said are score based, depending how you kill enemies, what you do with them, depends on your score. If you do well enough, you can get up to three seals that way, and there are three challenges which tie directly into suit upgrades. Now, the seals that you get can be used to give your ninja more moves, more ways to kill enemies, more ways to knock them down, as well as more armor, and a cloak that lets you sort of hover from large falls so you can easily control where you go without actually making a lot of sound, which you will do if you fall from a great height. They upgrade weapons, such as, as I said, my favorite, one of my favorites, the terror darts, will event will, can be upgraded to allow me to, after I hit an enemy with it, they will eventually kill themselves, which is a weird little addition, and it is great for terrorizing enemies uh, if they see that you, their companion kill himself. And you can get different suits in this game, and each one, only one of them you get automatically, the rest you get depending how you complete challenges. And they, when you select one of these new suits, they alter the way you play the game completely, such as the Path of Might gives you more armor, makes it easier for you to knock down enemies and to kill them, but you can no longer slow down time when you focus. Or my personal favorite, the Path of the Hunter, which means I no longer need to worry about the stealth kill mechanic, as typically you need to use a little minigame with your mouse in order to kill them. With Path of the Hunter, I no longer need to do that, plus I carry two attack items. Unfortunately, I no longer have the ability to resupply at checkpoints, and I need to find supply points, so I have to be much more frugal with my with my uh, attack items than most other people would need to be. But it's, So it's a nice little checks and balance system that you wish. You know, you know, when you wish to use a different suit, it's a nice little system that tell, dictates how you want to play your character. I like killing everyone, so Path of the Hunter works perfectly for me. But there's also a, a path of silence, which means you no longer make any sound, but you also only carry two distraction items, and you can no longer kill enemies. Though there are some instances in the game where you have to kill an enemy, and that leads for some very interesting graphical looks. I, I don't quite understand why they didn't just let you do a separate animation, but hey, that's, just, that's not my place to say, right? All these things, are, the animation, the upgrades, the scoring system, the story, everything about the game is actually very interesting, very well done, very fluid, and frankly makes me feel like a ninja, which is positively phenomenal, and I love the guys at Clay for doing it. About the only things that I can say that I didn't really like about this game is, particularly near the end of the game, it's clear. there are a lot of lasers. And a lot of them, ha and I've been killed a lot of times in instances where I don't think I should have, because I'd either be not near the laser point, and it would still kill me, or I would move past the laser point and it wouldn't be active, but I would still somehow end up getting killed. So there are some weird bugs that I that I would feel, or that I feel, could that need to be looked at, particularly around boxes and lasers. Uh, let's see what else I didn't really like. There were a couple bugs that I noticed, with, uh, particularly with Path of Silence, where if you would try to grab a ledge after parachuting, it will teleport you from where you originally jumped from, which led to some very annoying ways of getting myself killed when it did that. And, that, and graphically, the game performs perfectly, but there were a couple hitches, especially near the end of the game, minor spoilers, in a sandstorm in a foggy area on the last stage where the performance would take a couple of hits. Not enough to completely deteriorate the gameplay, but enough to be noticeable. Those are really about the only things I don't really like about this game. Now, if you recall, I typically judge games on a one-to-one -one basis. As in one dollar spent per hour of entertainment received. I beat the game probably about eight hours my first time through. And then you get open up a new game plus, and I played through that in a completely different method. My first play was killing everyone, the second one was killing none. And that finish, and along with that, and finishing every achievement, getting every item, which I typically don't do, but I enjoyed this game to actually do so. I ended up with a perfect 15-hour completion time. So 15 hours, 
for a $15 Watch game actually works quite perfectly on a near one-to-one -one basis. Not many games may should do that, so gameplay-wise, amazing. For the money, works perf works out perfectly. I unfortunately don't think I'm going to be picking it up again because I don't recall any leaderboards for the PC version, so I don't really have any reason to go back, but 15 hours of entertainment for $15 spent works perfectly. I thoroughly enjoyed every moment of this game. And I believe you guys will too, if you are looking for a great stealth action game. And that concludes my thoughts, so thank you guys very much for watching. Shalom, and until next time.